Hi, I'm Laura Demers from Clifford Canoes. Today we're going to show you how to assemble a nested 16 and 17 foot prospector. Once you've removed the 16 prospector from the 17 prospector, you'll notice that inside the hull here, we've got the strap to attach your foam end tank, as well as the angle hanging for your seat. So before you venture out on your next trip, you should always be sure to check to make sure you have all of the parts you need to assemble your canoe. So included in the kit here are the foam end tanks. You've got your bow seat, your stern seat, your two center thwarts, your two hand thwarts, and your yoke. In addition to that, you want to make sure that you have your set of hardware, maybe even including a couple of extra bolts and nuts. So I'm going to start by assembling the canoe, uh, installing the yoke. Uh, it's easiest to do this first just because it helps to spread the width of the canoe to make it easier to put the rest of the parts in. So just hand thread the bolt from the outside just to get it situated in the right spot. Once you get all the bolts in place, just attach your lock nut on the opposite end here and just uh, hand tighten that and then go back afterwards and tighten it up. So next up in the installation is installing the thwart. Um, it doesn't matter which thwart you've got as long as the holes are gonna line up when you go to assemble it. Now that we've got our yoke and center thwarts installed, we're going to move on to installing our hand thwart. Just like the others, as long as the holes line up, you've got the right one. And then just install just like before with the bolt coming in from the outside. Now that we've got our hand thwarts, yoke, and center thwarts installed, uh, we're going to move on to installing the bow seat here. So you just want to make sure that you're using the longer hardware as opposed to the shorter hardware just because it has to go through the actual seat itself. So once you get that lined up, just slide your bolts right through the top. So next up is going to be to install your stern flotation foam. And when you do this, you just want to make sure you do it before you install your stern seat, just for the lack of access. So to begin with, you're just going to unclip your strap at the front here, and then take the stern edge of the strap and just loop it over the top of the gunnel. Next, you're going to move your other strap just out of the way. Slide your foam into place. And at this point, you're just going to have to give it a few swift pushes. Get it in there nice and snug. Clip your buckles right over the top. And then just pull it snug. Lastly, when putting in your stern seat here, it's just going to mount the exact same way that we did the bow seat earlier. So just slide it into place, throw your bolts in over the top. Your bow flotation foam is also going to be installed the same way, so just uh, go ahead and do that next.